Hello and welcome back everybody. Today on Linux Scoop, we will show you step by step how to install PrestaShop with Nginx on a Debian 10 VPS. PrestaShop is a fully scalable open source e-commerce solution that helps you sell your products online by providing the best shopping cart experience for both merchants and customers. It is based on PHP and MySQL and can be extended with free and premium plugins and themes. With features like intuitive administrative interface, multiple payment gateways, multilingual, analytic, and reporting. Make sure that you have met the following prerequisites before continuing with this tutorial. You have a Debian 10 VPS with root access or a user with pseudo privileges. You have a fully registered domain name that is set up and pointing to your VPS IP address. For example, in this video tutorial, we will use domain linuxscoop.cc. Step 1. Deploy Debian 10 VPS. Thanks to UpCloud for sponsoring this video. UpCloud is an extremely fast cloud hosting service, very affordable, easy to get started with and provides a lot of value in their different solutions. Also, great for any business that is small or large and as someone who's really trying to start doing some website stuff. Get $50 in credit on your new account by signing up with promo code LINUXSCOOP or use the link in the description. To deploy Debian 10 in UpCloud simple and easy, log into your account. Click the server. Click Deploy Server. Choose the server location. Select Plan. In this tutorial, we will be using the plan $10 per month. On the operating system, select Debian 10. Enter your VPS host name and description about your VPS. Then click the Deploy button. Now set the reverse DNS name on each of your public IP address at your UpCloud control panel under the Network tab in your server settings. On column, reverse DNS name change with your domain name. And make sure that you have set up an address record for your domain. Step 2. Initial Server Setup Debian 10 Server In this step, we will create a new user account that will add to sudo group and configuring SSH. Now, from your terminal login to Debian 10 Server. After you have logged in, Run the following command to make sure that all installed packages on the Debian 10 server are updated to their latest available versions. Create a new user account. We will give the name Debian. Now, run this command to add the new user to the sudo group. Now that we have our new account, we can secure our server a little bit by modifying its SSH daemon configuration to disallow remote SSH access to the root account. Begin by opening the configuration file with Nanotext Editor. Find the following sections, add and change the information where applicable. Add these lines to the bottom of the document. When you are finished making your changes, save and close by hitting Ctrl O X. Restart the SSH service. Log out from the root session. You can type exit or hit the button Ctrl D. Then log in again using user with pseudo privileges. 
keep stay login on this session. We will continue to install Nginx, PHP, and MariaDB. Step 3. Install Nginx, PHP, and MariaDB. PrestaShop requires a web server on which it will serve its content. It is written in PHP and uses a MySQL MariaDB database to store its information. We can install Nginx, MariaDB, PHP, and other PHP modules by running the following command. Once all the packages are installed, you will need to make some changes in php.ini file and tweak some settings. We will be using sed command for fast replacing php.ini file. Then restart PHP FPM service to apply the configuration changes. Step 4. Configure Nginx for PrestaShop. In this step, we will configure Nginx site configuration file for PrestaShop. This file will control how users access PrestaShop content. Run these commands to create a new configuration file called linuxscoop.cc. We will copy our configuration to this file. All configuration and command in this tutorial can be downloaded from this video description. If you are done, save and close the file. It's recommended to check Nginx syntax errors by typing this command. Next, you should enable the server block by creating a symbolic link to the site's enabled directory. Finally, restart the Nginx and PHP FPM services to apply the configuration changes. Step 5. Configure a PrestaShop database. Run the commands that to secure the database server with a root password, if you were not prompted to do so during the installation. Now, log in to MariaDB as root. We will create a database called DB PrestaShop. Then, create MariaDB new user account called PrestaShop user. Set a password and grant access to the database we created. Remember to choose a strong password for your database user. Flush the database so changes can reflect in MariaDB. Finally, exit from MariaDB shell. Step 6. Download and install PrestaShop. In this step, we will need to download the latest version of the PrestaShop source from its official website. 
run these commands to download the latest stable release of PrestaShop. Once the download is completed, unzip the downloaded file web server's root directory. For example, our web server's root directory, var www linux scoop. Change the ownership of all Joomla files to the www data user and group. Enter to document root directory. Change permission all directory Joomla to 755 and change permission all file Presta Shop to 644. Step 7 Install Presta Shop through the web browser. Now, open your web browser and visit the URL HTTPS, your domain. You will be redirected to the PrestaShop installation page. Select the language you would like to use and click on the Next button. Make sure to read the license agreements and select I agree to the above terms and conditions to continue. On this page, you need to enter the information about your store and the email address is the username to access the PrestaShop administration backend. Provide your database name, database username and database password that we have created in Step 5. Click on the Next button and the installation will start. The installation may take a few minutes. Once completed, the following page will show, informing you that PrestaShop has been installed. For security reasons, you'll need to delete the installation directory. To do so, go back to the terminal and enter the following command. Now, access your PrestaShop administrative dashboard. Click on the Manage Your Store button. Then open your Nginx configuration on section Your Admin Folder. Replace with your admin directory. Now you can log into the PrestaShop dashboard with your email and password. Step 8. Install and configure Let's Encrypt SSL Certificate. Let's Encrypt is a free automated and open certificate authority developed by the Internet Security Research Group ISRG, that provides free SSL certificates. We need to install the CertBot package for Nginx called Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Now install dependencies for Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Install the Python 3 CertBot Nginx package. Fetch and deploy Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your domain with these commands.
On your Press to Shop administrative dashboard, navigate to Configure, Shop Parameters, General. Click Yes on Section Enable SSL. Click the Save button. Click Yes on Enable SSL on all pages, then click the Save button. Now the SSL certificate for your domain is successfully installed. Step 9. Setting up Firewall In this step, we will install UFW package and create rule to allow SSH, HTTP and HTTPS connection. Install UFW. Enable UFW service. Allows SSH connection on port 22500 using the TCP protocol. Allows HTTP connection on port 80. Allows HTTPS connection on port 443. Check the status of your rules now by typing. That's it! Step by step, how to install PrestaShop with Nginx on Debian 10 VPS. Now PrestaShop is ready to use. To learn more about how to manage PrestaShop, you can visit the PrestaShop documentation. If you have any questions, comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe Linux Scoop YouTube channel for more video. Please consider to support Linux Scoop on Patreon.